Hi everybody, I'm Patrick Dockery. In my life, I have worn many hats and tasted many flavors. As I travel the world, I explore the finest cities in search for culture, history, and great food. Along the way, I get to meet today's most interesting celebrities, focusing on the positive side of life, allowing them to share their causes, charities, and what truly fascinates them. We cook and dine with some of the finest chefs of our time, preparing healthy and delicious meals in some of the hottest restaurants. Also, we showcase the latest, most creative, and hippest trends of beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. I pursue my passion for health and fitness, and acquire some of the most innovative wellness strategies. And now I want to share this all with you. So come along on this amazing journey and together we will experience a world of health, beauty, and life. On today's show, we meet with in vitro fertilization expert, Dr. David Smotridge, as my wife Monica and I share our personal journey through IVF, resulting in our San Diego and as we try again for our second child. Then we head to one of nature's most beautiful creations, Niagara Falls. Come along as we see these great wonders from a boat, from behind, and above. Next we head to Tacoma, Washington, where LeMay Auto Museum houses thousands of automobiles, vintage and new, in this amazing car museum. Last but not least, we are in the Health Be Life kitchen with Filipino superstar, Patricia Javier, or as we know her, Genesis. But first we meet with Dr. David Smotrich, IVF specialist. Couples desiring to have children can find themselves heartbroken and frustrated when challenged with infertility issues. Over 6.7 million women, or almost 11% of the U.S. population, have faced such concerns. My wife Monica and I were part of that group. After conceiving naturally and suffering a series of miscarriages, we sought the professional help of Dr. David Smotridge at La Jolla IVF in hopes of making our dreams come true. So you're the baby doctor. I've been called that, yes. Yeah, yeah. And um, you've been doing this for quite a long time. Right, and I've been in our community now for about 19 years. I've been on my own for 17. It took me a year to build our facility, and we've been here now for about 15 years. Now, the thing is, people probably don't realize this, because when I came in, I did not realize the procedure itself. It is quite complex, and it's advanced dramatically. Right. There's been tremendous changes over the last year, um, several years. The first IVF child was born in London in 1978. Since her birth, there have been over 5 million children born worldwide using IVF technology. And we've been able to learn more and more about egg quality, sperm quality, when you place them together, embryo quality, allowing us to offer this types of therapy for women and men from all over the world, from all walks of life. It's come a long way and I know that uh, you do deal with celebrities and you're very discreet and high profile clients. That's one of the things you do as well as like male clients. I was one of the first um, doctors in the United States ever to do a male-male couple. So the first male-male couple I did was back in 1997. There were a lot of people who came after me and saying, you know, why are you doing this and how, what gives you the right? You know, I'm not here to judge who should become a family. I'm here to help people become families. Which brings us to our case. And uh, we've had success, and thank you very much. We have our, our son Diego, which is amazing. And um, Monica is here once again, and uh, she's willing to walk through the process. And um, you've been through it, Monica, and uh, yes. experienced it. It is, like I say, we did have a little challenge ourselves. We were able to get pregnant, as you know. And she'd had several seven, seven, eight seven, times seven or eight times, times correct. Me correct. Right. Yeah, and she was just getting frustrated with the situation, and uh, we went other places but we had no we had no results and nobody really knew what was going on and then you could probably tell the story best of when you met David right well someone you know referred me to you and we came or I came to see you and the first day I was in here you told me okay we have something wrong Right. Your uterus. Right. Right. If the uterus has an anatomic issue, for example, Monica had a large fibroid in the uterus. A fibroid is a smooth muscle tumor where, depending on its positioning, can prevent an embryo from implanting, can prevent an embryo from continuing to grow and develop, can block the blood supply to feed an early embryo or an early fetus, and that's most likely why she was having some of the miscarriages. The other situation is when I believe you presented to me, you were 37, 38. 
And so at that stage also, there's a higher risk of having embryos that are genetically not normal, that either don't implant, or if they implant, can become genetically abnormal. And generally, um, human nature cleanses the body so from cool. embryos right. that are genetically not normal, and then you will pass those. Which, ha which was happening, obviously, we which figured was that clear, out. Which was clearly happening. Um, as we are now trying to add to your family, okay, and Diego was a cesarean section, correct? Right. Correct. Okay. And so in a cesarean section, they make a small incision in the uterus, and then they sew the uterus back up. So what we need to do to make sure that there are no issues is I'm going to place a speculum, I'm going to cleanse the cervix with cold wet betadine. I'm going to take a very small catheter, gently place it through the cervix into the uterus and put a little bit of fluid in and we'll do an ultrasound to make sure indeed that the uterus is healing appropriately. Okay. At the same time we'll look at the ovaries to make sure that they're healing appropriately as well. Then we'll come back and we'll look at different calendars that are comfortable for you for your schedule as well as where you are in your cycle to go through and write out the protocol. So what I want to do now is kind of remind you what the process is, okay? We use the birth control pill initially to help put both ovaries in sync together. So you'll be on the pill for about 15 or 16 days. Then you'll have a sloughing of the uterine lining by coming off the pill. And then we will start with ultrasound to make sure that indeed both ovaries are clear, that there are no cysts, that there's still a good yield of follicles, and that the lining itself is nice and thin. And then we're going to start a combination of purified FSH in the form of folistin, as well as FSH and LH in the form of Menopure to encourage both ovaries to grow. And those are injections. Those correct. are the injections, okay. and those are injections with small needles yeah, that go is. just underneath the skin. And you are on it for about 10 to 12 days, and during that time we'll have vaginal ultrasound visits to make sure that both ovaries are growing and developing appropriately. And then hopefully we'll have a nice yield of eggs and embryos and then be able to go forward with the ability to do a transfer. Wonderful. Right. Sounds good. With the success of our firstborn son, Diego, we felt it was time to try again. So, after our initial meeting with Dr. Smotrich, it was time to start the IVF process and hope for our second child. I'm going to cleanse the cervix with culture media. This is my trial catheter. We'll be able to visualize everything under ultrasound guidance. What you see here is Monica's bladder, her uterus, and we're gonna gently check the catheter under the microscope to make sure indeed that the one embryo has been released. One embryo for Monica and Patrick. Okay, so here is the catheter, and I'm gently placing it through the cervix, high up in the uterus, and that bright white light is the fluid surrounding the embryo. So the catheter is clear, so that means that the embryo is indeed where I placed it. I'm removing the speculum, and then we're going to get you into a more comfortable position. Are you okay if I say a prayer? Is that okay? Okay. And God said, be fruitful and multiply. It's chapter 1, verse 22 of Genesis. Certainly hope and pray we have good news for you guys, okay? Best of luck, think sticky, focus on the positive. All right? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So we had an embryo that was frozen later. It was a seven, day seven embryo. So it was actually an embryo that was growing slower and that was the only one we had remaining and that's the one we placed and unfortunately it did not implant. There was a, an honest attempt there. Oh, absolutely. And, but unfortunately we were not successful. You've been blessed with the son. I've been blessed to, you know, taking care of you over these years and see how things changed. You really spent a lot of time on this and effort, but thank God you were blessed. Thank God he's healthy. There are many different options in the future if you so desire. If you decide, hey, we want to do this in a year or so, it's not that big of a deal if you make the decision later rather than trying to push and get eggs from you again. It's amazing, and thank you so much for helping us because I, I don't know we, we, I don't know if this could have happened without your help. I know. Because well, I'll tell you. Thank God you guys were rewarded. Yeah, it's all worth it. So worth it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And you know, like I say, um, there, there's hope for people out there. Tremendous amount of hope. And thank you so much for being here with us today. And until next time, just remember to enjoy. enjoy.
Stick around. Next up, Niagara Falls. Anything that I can go fast in, I love it. So with that said, uh, I use a lot of the Enjoy Men's line mainly because it allows me to run my hands through my hair and fix my hair all day long whenever it gets screwed up and I don't walk around with a bunch of hair product on my hands. I'm Josh Stinson and I use Enjoy Professional Hair Care for Men. We're back at Niagara Falls, Canada. Considered one of nature's greatest wonders, Niagara is a must-see marvel for all of those who appreciate the world's most amazing sights. When planning a visit to Niagara, there are multiple factors to take into consideration. The falls can be visited in two different countries for two completely different experiences. Though the falls are breathtaking from any vantage point, we cross the border into Canada. Once across, we met with Janice Thompson, chairwoman of the Niagara Parks Commission. Janice gave us all the information we needed to make sure that we experience Niagara from every angle possible. So Janice, you know, when folks come here, what are some of the main things that you recommend seeing? Because you are an expert on this area. Well, Patrick, if you start right at Queen Victoria Park, which has amazing views of the falls, gorgeous restaurant elements. Oh, yeah. And then if you go down below from there, there's Journey Behind the Falls. And I don't know of another place like it on Earth, quite frankly. Yeah, I was amazed by it. You oh. get to go literally to past the middle of the falls, and you Absolutely. just look out and see it and experience In the tunnels it. And seeing that water just pouring down, it's a remarkable experience. It really was. It, it really was. But there is one way to get right close to the water, and that is to go down onto the Hornblower boat trip. And the boat trip, again, is an amazing attraction here in Niagara. It's uh, famous around the world for that great image of the falls, the Canadian and American falls, and the boats down below. You can't get much closer to the mist than by venturing to the top deck of the Hornblower. As you approach Horseshoe Falls, you can't help but be awe-inspired and amazed at this one-of-a-kind natural wonder. For the ultimate view of Niagara, be sure to take a helicopter tour in one of Niagara Helicopters aerial tours. This unique eye in the sky perspective that combines adventure and spectacular views is a must. You know, we had the opportunity to go on the helicopter tour. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, and they flew us over, and uh, have you ever had an opportunity to do yes, that? Yes, I have. I love the helicopter tour. Yeah, a you get a bird's area. eye view. You sure do. You absolutely, absolutely. do, yeah. After taking in the falls from every angle, you'll want to spend some quality family time at Clifton Hills World Famous Street of Fun by the falls. Located on the Canadian side of Niagara Falls, Clifton Hills offers exciting attractions, resort hotels, restaurants, shops and nightclubs with fun experiences for all ages. Where else can you ride a giant wheel 175 feet above Niagara Falls for the most amazing views? golf with life-size dinosaurs in a 36-hole mini golf adventure, or be challenged by over 300 interactive games at Canada's largest entertainment complex. Sounds like this area is a must-see. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, and thank you so much for being here with us. And until next time, just remember to enjoy. enjoy. Up next, LeMay Auto Museum. Welcome back to the LeMay Auto Museum. If you or someone you know loves cars, then you have to get to LeMay Auto Museum. With every car imaginable on display and interactive exhibits for kids and adults alike, two working garages within the museum walls, LeMay Auto Museum is truly America's car museum. Well, hello everybody. Today we're here in Tacoma, Washington with Scott Keller at America's Car Museum. It's true. First question I want to ask you, why Tacoma? Well, the founder was a man named Harold LeMay. He was from here, self-made um, uh, American success story. And oh, by the way, had 3,300 cars. That's it? 3,300 yeah, cars? Yeah, so wow. we had a little bit to start with here. Yeah, you But did. that's the origin was uh, Harold LeMay. Okay, and then, you know, being in Tacoma, mm -hmm. this building didn't exist, so it was purposely built for this particular endeavor. Yeah, that's a great point. Uh, we have what I would consider um, uh, an embarrassment of riches in that over 10 years and $60 million later, we wow. were able to build our own building, which houses the collection, has uh, 10 exhibits or exhibit halls, galleries, 
uh, two private clubs, a theater, a cafe, slot cars, racing simulators, and oh, by the way, our workshop. So yeah, and, was, and, and and a three and a half acre show field where That's we right, do outdoor. Which is a big deal. Yeah, we do car shows, uh, um, outdoor concerts, outdoor uh, driving movies, and so on. So we're nine acres here. It's really a blessing. So the car is culturally iconic, brings back yes. memories, brings back feelings. But you didn't set it up as just a museum here. It's much more. Yeah, we um, uh, we have a lot of fun. We consider ourselves as much a uh, an attraction as a museum, um, and that really frames your thinking about. So that we can do things like uh, we have a vintage motorcycle show here. We have a Concord Elegance and our own movie theater. We have slot car racing here. Um, there's so many things you can do when you you know, kind of take the mentality of a of a fun place to visit, more like an attraction than necessarily a museum alone. Let's talk about it a little more. You know, you have several levels. So as you walk in, what are people going to experience? Well, one of the things we hope they're going to experience is something new every time they turn the corner. That's 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 intentional. But you walk into a lobby, it's really terrific. But then as you walk into our main floor, you're going to see this huge, vast space. It's nearly a football field in length that has the first of our two galleries. But what you'll find as you start to go through is that as you as you move down through the building on these long ramps um, that are that, that are the main galleries, it's four levels. Four levels. Four so it goes levels. Down, down, down. Yeah, I mean, if you walk through this and, and have a good museum experience, you're into it for a couple hours. So it's going to blow you away as the variety, the amount of stuff going on in, in the sheer size. Where do you see your guys' uh, venue in the future? What, what are some of the goals you have for the place? Well, you know, um, America's Car Museum is, um, in, our, in our minds, a national institution. So we don't see ourselves as just being from here in Tacoma. We have um, this campus that, that we mentioned that we work very hard on and, um, and invest a lot of money in and are learning all the time. You know, ask anybody who has a, a big business or a, a, a property like this, you learn over time just what can you do with it and what, how do people react. Um, but we ultimately seeing ourselves as a national institution. So what you'll see from us in the future is a continual expansion of the institution including the private clubs that we have that are already located in Colorado, Kirkland, Washington, and the affiliate of San Jose. So much going on here. Yeah. Love it. Great for the whole family. Yeah, exactly. And uh, seven family. days a week? or what? Seven days a week. Okay, rain or shine. Rain or shine. Scott, thank you so much. Patrick, thank you very much for having me on the show. Well, thank you. We have a really good time here, and so do our guests. I can tell. This is the place to have some fun for it the whole family. Fun. It is fun. And thank you so much for being with us today. And until next time, just remember to enjoy. enjoy. Coming up next, we're in the Healthy Life Kitchen with Patricia Javier. We're back with Filipino superstar Patricia Javier. Everybody knows Patricia Javier as a sexy diva of the Philippine cinema. As a busy performer, she toured all over the United States, including San Diego, where she met her future husband, Dr. Robert Welcher. We invited Patricia into the Healthy Life Kitchen to make a traditional Filipino dish, pansit. So we've made a couple of different modifications here um, to this recipe. Like for example, this is normally made with flour, these noodles, and you've made it with mung beans. It's yeah. made with mung beans, so gluten-free. It's gluten-free. You can eat it. That's right. Yeah. And then here we have the tamari. Tamari instead of soy. Soy. Yeah. yeah. This is great. And then everything else was okay as far as the gluten-free goes. Mm -hmm. You have both chicken and shrimp. Mm -hmm. And then we have our spices. We have our garlic. Garlic, um, pepper, and then we need the olive oil. Okay. And then of course uh, red pepper, salt, um, uh, onion, onion, carrot, carrots, broth, chicken, broth, chicken broth, which was organic. That was yes, nice. It's organic. And also celery and, and green, bean. green beans. And this one is for garnish, garnish later. later. And then the cabbage. The cabbage. And the carrots. And this is the secret weapon you told me. This, yes. These are shallots. These aren't onions, everybody. Yes. This is uh, going to be a different way of uh, the traditional way of uh, cooking pancet is uh, we're going to add more spice to it with okay. the shell. Right on. So we give it a little more flavor. Yes. Now, this dish, the pancet noodle dish, is, a, is what they do for their birthday, right? It's traditional. Yes, if you go to Filipino parties, uh, you always have this thing, or any occasion for Filipino, because uh, eating pancet is like like having a long life. Right, like the longer the noodle, the longer the life, right? Yes. To kick things off, we started adding oil to a pan, and then we added shallots, making sure to cook them to a crispy brown texture. In a separate, larger wok or pan, we poured in some oil and our minced garlic. 
After a minute, we added our spices and a pinch of salt. Next, we mixed in our veggies, chicken and shrimp, placing our cabbage on top of the mixture. Make sure to stir the ingredients thoroughly. After rinsing our noodles in cold water, we added them in bunches to the mixture. And as the noodles softened, we stirred in our secret taste weapon, the crispy shallots. After about 10 minutes or until heated throughout, it's time for the finishing touches. For the garnish, we added chopped green onion and added sliced lemons with a little boom boom to top it boom, off. Boom, 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 boom. There you have it. The pancet noodle with chicken. shrimp, chicken, and veggies. And vegetables. Love it. And we'll be right back to try it. Now, I've had pancet because I used to have it before I was gluten intolerant. Uh -huh. But now, this is the first time I've had it because I wasn't able to eat it because of the noodle. And I'll see because this is great. Yes. You're gonna have to make this for me now when you visit. Sure. Oh my gosh. Those noodles are great. Are you kidding me? They taste good, right? Oh, wow. They're okay. I mean, you can't hardly tell the difference, right? Yeah, I think it's much better. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, this is great, you guys. And all the flavor from the noodles, I taste a little bit of the chili, a little yeah, bit of the heat. The spice. And the shallots, huh? Yeah. It does make it. Those crispy shallots, you guys, for sure you need to add those. Get them real crispy, throw them in, and they just add a ton of flavor. Yes. So you're going to be making this one, this style now? Uh-huh. Yeah? You yeah. like it? I love it, yeah. I'm going to eat a little more if you don't mind. Well, thank you so much. Oh, welcome, Patrick. I appreciate it. Yeah. Excellent. And thank you so much for being here with us today. And until next time, just remember to enjoy. enjoy. If you like what you see on Health Beauty Life, there's no need to wait till next week's show because there's a lot more to experience. And it's all just a click away at healthbeautylife.com. Stop by and experience our extended play and behind the scenes interviews. Travel, cooking, fitness, beauty, fashion, and lifestyles, as well as any shows that you've missed. Of course, you can connect and share through Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube, and be sure to become a Health Beauty Life VIP. You'll be eligible to win valuable prizes, receive newsletters, special offers, and updates. Travel with us to share our unique visits to everybody's favorite cities and towns and learn to prepare delicious healthy meals in your kitchen with our step-by-step -step recipes. Discover the beauty and fashion tips of today's best and brightest with how-to videos that make it easy to get the hottest new looks. Get fit and stay healthy with leading fitness, nutrition, and wellness experts. HealthBeautyLife.com connects our world with your world at HealthBeautyLife.com. Okay, welcome back. Thanks to all of our guests on this week's show. And until next time, just remember to enjoy. Enjoy.